Hello there, this is Big Benedict. We're playing Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition on Dante Must Die difficulty, and this is mission 12 of 20. Finally, we're Trish. So, Trish has electrified attacks, and she has a gun which does not have a charge attack. All it has is the simple action of pressing it, and you can marry the devil trigger to it as well to do more damage on enemies that take to that more, like the Fausts and the Mephistos. And she also has the Sparta and um, Bare Knuckles. So that's I think that's like the actual name of the weapon, I'm not sure. But that is that is the round trip. And uh, before I talk about any of this, I do want to mention that I've swapped out the primary and secondary functions of these weapons. Um, for instance, by default, the Sparta is on the B button, which indicates that it's a secondary weapon. And by default the bare knuckles is the primary attack button on the Y button so I've switched that so I lead with the the Sparta even though it has fewer moves but I find it to be a little bit easier that way because you're always going to be tossing the sword to instigate the round trip and then you're going to be marrying different combos together with it. It sounds complicated but it really isn't so anytime um, like I'm, I'm giving you inputs or something and it doesn't sound right it's because I've, si I've simply uh, remapped the buttons for my own um, gameplay style but this is the point I, I struggled on this part not, not on the first f two fights but I did struggle getting out of this facility or whatever it is with the timer and I think it's because just as Nero is the easier character to use, so too is Lady. And when you're either one of those characters, but more so with Lady, you don't really have to play the game. You can just run away and do charges, and that's pretty much what you have to do since she only has one hit, like one combo attack. Um, I know technically she has two. She has forward, um, forward Y, and also her main... Why, 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 why attack. But I think this is the point of the game, at least to me, it feels like the game is saying, well, you haven't participated too much, and that's okay because we've designed it that way. But now we're going to put a lot more demands on you, and you're going to have to get in the faces of the enemies a lot more, relying on a less powerful character, and kind of just fend for yourself and and learn the character just as you have to learn Dante after learning Nero and it's not that bad actually because she's far less complicated than Dante ever was but the round trip it is right bumper plus forward plus um, plus Y now Obviously, if you keep the default inputs, it's going to be right bumper plus forward plus B. But as I've mentioned, I've rebinded the inputs to my own discretion. So, there are so many moves for her that I'm not even going to go into all of them. But I did want to mention the ones... Excuse me. I do want to mention the ones that cross over. So... There's four of them. If you look in the skill skill list for her, they all involve using the round trip and then using combos with the bare knuckles. The first one, this is a pretty hard fight. I did the, I did this one no damage at one point, and I was thinking to myself, "Wow, I'm I'm kind of turning into the Godfather dictator." And then um, that short that that delusion shortly ended after the next fight when I got k killed in about five seconds <laughs> at the end with all the Angelos. But when I was watching the Godfather play at first, he was doing some golfing move, and I couldn't find it. And I'm going to have to find it and bring it to you guys. I'll have to ask him what it is. Um, so the first move. that I'm talking about the first move that involves the round trip and the bare knuckles. The first one is uh, bare knuckle combo C. And the input is... Um, y, 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 tap Y, and when I looked at that earlier, it was kind of ambiguous, and I, I still think it is, 
like it doesn't say pause it just says why 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 and then why and the description says get your helicopter on with the spinning kick whirlwind combo charge any of the first three attacks by holding Y so that type of ambiguity I really don't like because what I think it is is just it's three rapid presses of the Y button and then Y again but it, as it mentions you can charge the attacks by holding the Y button so um, the next one is bare knuckle combo D so after you throw the round trip by which I mean throw the round trip and then once the enemy is circulating inside of the enemy spinning around then you do the combo um, it is called like I said bare knuckle combo D and it is during the round trip press YY then YY so what I assume it means is quickly press the Y button twice pause for a second and then press the Y button again twice and that's that move. The next one is Thunder Blow. This is a very important one. During the round trip, press right bumper plus forward um, plus Y. So you also you want to hold the Y button to increase the power of that move afterwards. And I think I do it many a time here. That move right there. Although I don't think I was holding the Y button at that point. Um, so that's that move and then the final move is called the collider so after you've thrown the round trip press right bumper plus backwards on the left analog stick plus Y and this is the the move where she strikes the ground and with her fist sends lightning bolts through the earth and then holding the Y button amps up the voltage and deals more damage this is actually a pretty forgiving fight because it's just like two or three of these Mephistos here. But I should say, did I say earlier that she only has one gun attack? That's true if you are looking at it from like a moves list because the gun is just, you just press X, that's all it is. I don't even map it to the trigger since you're not holding it to charge. But she has two other moves with the gun. One of them is right bumper plus back to forward on the analog and then hold X. Uh, she might have three actually, I haven't written them down. But the one that is overpowered and it's the best move that you can do is right bumper. Um, what is it? Right bumper plus, is it right bumper plus back plus X. And you don't, uh, is it that? I believe it is. Yeah, right, sorry about that. It's an aerial, you can do it in the air too. Right bumper plus back plus X uh, don't hold the X just press the X and it's going to consume devil trigger however you don't need to activate the devil trigger it will just consume it for you by dint of the move completing itself so I found this this to be a very nerve-wracking room because there is no checkpoint um, I should say the checkpoint is at the beginning of where the time starts counting down that move right there you'll see that the devil trigger is getting consumed right there and it's the strongest move in the game and you want to save your double trigger for that so she also has this um, this overhead Beowulf type move so it's it's highly spammable so if you're struggling on enemies just do that move it's very strong and you can marry the devil trigger with that too so I'm sorry this this video is was sort of um, had a lot of formality to it but there's going to be plenty of other chapters where we don't have to talk the um, you know it doesn't have to be so technical and formal with all the button presses but I just I felt that knowing those round trip moves is just is very pertinent and will help you as you progress through the campaign as this particular character so that's it we're just leaving the vicinity now we're going to be in the jungle in the next chapter fighting Echidna. And I hope that was a good introductory. I will find out that fucking golf move because I was jealous the second I saw that, the Godfather dictator premiering that shit and then not, not, show, not telling us what it is. <laughs> I will find out what that is somehow. Take 
care of yourselves. This is Big Benedict. I'm out, and I will see you in the next installment of this walkthrough. Take care.